dang. Like a GTA nightclub, bro. personally put Max's name on the list. So you like decide to block her from coming in while I'm taking a break? <laughs> you're not in charge here. Wait, I, I just, uh, oh my God, you're done. And you're off the list permanently. Damn. Welcome to the Vortex Club. Chris. Come on. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Hey, what is up guys? BM Games here and welcome back to episode 4 of Life is Strange. The last episode was very intense, very honestly kind of sad if you ask me. Uh, we found out that uh, unfortunately Rachel Amber died and we are, oh she didn't die, she got murdered by Nathan. And we are now at the Vortex End of the World party, or Vortex Club End of the World party at Blackwell and we're trying to find Nathan with Chloe but we don't know where Chloe is. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but yeah, this is where we left off. We're about to enter the party, so let's go. Dang. Like a GTA nightclub, bro. Better not be copyright. I'm getting kind of lazy, so I don't think I'm gonna edit out copyright anymore because I'm not really making any like money off of YouTube right now anyway, so it doesn't really matter in my opinion. Let's go find somebody we recognize. Good work. I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you? No, I haven't seen him, and I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub and his club. You're not the only one. Maybe this party will be the end of the vortex. Then I don't have to pretend like I care anymore. Have you seen Warren tonight? No, I was talking to Daniel. He asked me to Ooh. go with him to the Portland Art Museum this weekend. Oh, um... That, that's so sweet. I bet Daniel will be a great museum guy. I'm more into science than art, but what kind of a selfish fangirl would miss a Miyazaki exhibition? You're not selfish, bro. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. Oh! I don't think having superpowers would make my life easier. With great power comes great bullshit. I don't know. It would be pretty kick-ass to battle supervillains over Arcadia Bay. Well, and I am still young. So are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. Hold up. I want to talk to her about the double moon. Talk to Daniel. I see Daniel spitting up some game. Hi, Daniel. Yes, Max speaks in interest. <laughs> I only came to the party because of you. I'm glad to see you out the and about. By the way, have you seen <coughs> tonight? No, I've been hanging with Cook since I got here. Max, are you okay? Your face looks so serious. Uh, I 
know. I'm I'm not in party mode tonight. You look like you're on a secret mission. This is where it's going to end. For Rachel's sake. Oh, Max, you need a black whale break. I'm taking you to a Miyazaki show in Portland. If you want to come along, the more the merrier. Thanks, Daniel. I have to stay on my mission now. I hope you stay on yours and become a great artist. Well, I'll be celebrating someday in a museum, Max. Adios. No one seems to know where Nathan is. Is he hiding or something? Energy drinks, soda, energy drinks. I know somebody has to lose. Oh, most definitely. There's Courtney drinking alone without Taylor or Victor. Hey, I want my makeover, bro. She said she'd give me a makeover. Oh, I had to come by her room. Let's talk to Lou. I remember this, dude. I almost didn't see you. Max, you're the only person I don't mind seeing right now. I was looking for Nathan. I've avoided almost everybody here tonight. Uh, why are you looking for Nathan? I want to make sure he's not going to do anything tonight. Like what happened to Kate. Oh, wait, I did see Nathan today. Nursing a busted face. I had dreams that somebody finally kicked his ass. Well, Luke, sometimes dreams come true. Warren gave him an epic beatdown. Yes, give it up for Brother Warren. Now all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town. I think Sean Prescott wants to drive all of us out of town. Or into Pan Estates. I met him once at a Bigfoot's game. <laughs> Fucking bastard. Oh, man. He explains Nathan. Preach it, brother Lou. Okay, I have to get going. Um, thanks for seeing me. No, oh, thank you. For helping Kate. <laughs> For keeping it real. Peace out. Oh, I'm saving her again, bro. Gotta tell her to watch out. Gotta tell her to watch out. Tell her to move. Tell her to move. Tell her to move. Tell her to move. No! But I don't know how a pool needle would knock you into a pool, but Angel has stepped up every single time to protect me from the cruel world. Thank you again, Mystic Max. You will. What the fuck is that? Bigfoot on water action. Oh. How you doing my boy Bigfoot like that? Let's talk to Alyssa. I'm surprised to see you here. Alyssa, I have to find Nathan. Have you seen him? Oh shit, I really just don't my know, brain. but surely it could be I agree something. Like it's like New York Club. Thanks, Alyssa. Watch out for yourself. Why? When I have Max Caulfield at my side. Good luck. Can I talk to her? Yes, I I'm back. You scared me for a sack. I was ready to talk. Didn't think you'd come back. I'm surprised that Blackwell is having a party after Kate almost jumped off a roof. I guess people are happy that Kate is okay now and we can party. I'm just happy she's drawing again. She seems much better, and her mother is being so supportive for a change. Kate deserves that. Kate deserves revenge. We have to make sure this doesn't happen to anybody else at Blackwell. I can tell you know some serious shit by your face. You don't have to tell me now, but please let me know if I can help, like you helped me. Look at this. I'm at my first and only Vortex Club party. Yeah, probably I gonna know. be the only one. This week was so shitty that I just wanted to be around a bunch of people trying to have a good time. Even if I hate most of them. Real shit. Victoria doesn't seem to hassle you like she does me. Or Kate. She must know I'd punch her in the face. I probably should just for Vortex Club posterity. I'm so glad I could warn you about all those sneak attacks. You kinda are a superhero. You always should choose to help me. It reminds me of the only poem I could quote by a Robert Frost. I could use one moment of poetry right now. 
Okay, but this is like poet karaoke, so don't cringe. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere, ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by. And that has made all the difference. That was beautiful, Alyssa. It was exactly what I needed to hear. Thanks for not cringing, and thanks for watching my back. Blackwell would be so much cooler if we all did that for everybody else. But you're a great start, Matt. Bro, I'm like the Blackwell vigilante, bro. I got connections with everybody. That's the VIP section. I want to talk to some more people before we do the Nathan shit because, bro, this is the probably the height of this episode, so. <clears throat> Man. I got a really bad cough right now. I don't know why. I don't think I can talk to any more people. At least over here. I don't see anybody that I really recognize. I, mean, I see Alyssa, but I've, I think I've spoken to her all I can. Ah, the wit of the Vortex Club. Party hard, hard. Alright. Yes, you do suck. Oh, wait, yeah, I have a VIP thing. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? Sorry, but I'm on the list. Okay? I know that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Look. Listen. No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. All right, fuck you too. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. Let's go talk to Courtney if I can. Maybe she can convince her to do it. Or let me in or some shit. Hey, Courtney. How are you? Max, our guest star arrives fashionably late. <laughs> Say bonsoir to the end of the world. Even though you flake out my party makeover, you still get special access to- Okay. Pause. I want to know if you can actually get a makeover. It's just something I want to know. Can you get a make over from Courtney? Life is strange. Yeah, real shit. Okay, I guess you can. To be fair, like dog, we, we, we found a dead the body. Vortex Club VIP Lounge. You better let your minion know since she won't let me pass. Oh, that little asshole just made her last mistake. She thinks she's Victoria. <laughs> bye bye. Now, let's go make an official VIP entrance, Max Factor. <laughs> Get it? Yes. Hey, Sarah. Um, do you know that I personally put Max's name on the list? So, you like decide to block her from coming in while I'm taking a break? <laughs> you're not in charge here. Wait, I, I just... Uh, oh my god, you're done! And you're off the list permanently. Damn! Welcome to the Vortex Club. Type shit. That's what you get, bro. You should've let me in. Let's talk to them. Okay, I can't talk to that dude. Oh. VIP section, baby. What are we doing up in there? I think Maybe that's that one dude. I forgot. What, I forgot so what it's it like. It's like yeah, Hayden. There's a bong. A bong. Kate, thank you so much for coming by, Max. You lifted my heart. Kate, I was so happy to see you smile again. You mean so much to me and to so many others. I have to go, but I also wanted to say, have fun at the movies with Warren. He's so sweet. He also, oh, he brought some school books I needed. Give him a hug for me. I will call me soon as you can. I wonder if I can go to the movies, bro. There's so much shit in this game. I wonder if I can do. What's up, Hayden? Uh, Yo, can Max take a... Uh, can Super Max take a super rip off the bong? Sky, it's Super Max here to save the party. Have you seen Nathan? I just vaped some dank OG buds. So I can barely see you. Or are these hotties next to me? You want to hit? No, I 
want to find Nathan. Me too. He's supposed to be bringing some special party. Dude, he is twacked out. Holy oh. shit. At the party, you actually planned a party at the party. Not this week. So, has anybody here seen Nathan? I guess you have to go ask everybody here. Or, you can sit down and take a quick hit. What about Victoria? Yeah, go ask her yourself. I would, but like I said, I'm fucking ripped. I can Maybe tell, bro. But how are you that ripped off of weed? I'm in this world to have fun. Try it sometime, Max. I finally get you and Dana to come out to a Vortex Club party, but you just want to lecture me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Madsen. How much fun did Kate have at your last party? Listen, Hayden. Just watch out for Nathan tonight. I think that's your job, Max. Come back when you're ready to have fun. Alright, fuck you too, bro. I bet she's, she's dead. Wasted and nobody is looking out for her. Nobody learns at Blackwell. I hope she doesn't get Rachel Ambert or Kate Marsh. Max, look at you go, girl. Taylor, have you seen Nathan yet? No, that's fine by me. He's been getting like too buggy and kind of scary. Victoria might know. What does Victoria say about that? She blows it off, but Vic is close with Nathan. They're more like brother sister, or something. She really cares about him. Is this? Why I think they're more than brother sister, bro. You want to be in a vortex club? No, Max. I'm a <coughs> at a great school. I want to learn things, make friends, and party. But when Kate was on the roof, I knew I'd gone too far. Real shit. Kate was dosed at the last vortex club party by Nathan, so. You should avoid any drink here tonight. But trust me, I won't even drink my own water when Nathan's around now. He's a pharmacy simulator. I do have to go now. Look out for yourself, Taylor. And give my best to your mom. Oh, thanks, Max. She's doing great after her surgery. That's good. I'm glad to know you're looking out for us, too. Yeah, I'm nice to most of the popular people. Bruh. An oxygen kit might come in handy if somebody pins you. Uh, huh. That's not what I was thinking. I was thinking people were taking weapons. So, you know, so the Vortex VIPs get real alcohol at their underage bar. Again, chips and crackers. Spare no expense, Vortex Club. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? All right, I'm gonna go talk to Dana and Trevor first, bro. Yay, Max! I can't believe you showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. As you can tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. <laughs> look at Trevor trying to bust a move. You guys look really happy together. I think we are. <laughs> He's so different than Logan. We actually talk about life. And he knows how to be sick. I hear you, Dana. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. Real shit. What do you know about his dad, Sean Preston? Uh, rich. And rich. And a dickhead, according to Nathan. The Prescotts can't buy a happy family or a happy club. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. <laughs> Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. That sounds like a plan, you know. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. The boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. Damn. I'm pretty sure that's the dude that, like, fucked up his dick on that tree flip. Like he hit his nuts or some shit on a tree flip. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Well, fuck don't you fuck too. Yourself, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you. And me. Everybody here. 
That's not my fault, Max. That's literally your fault, bro. You filmed the video, probably. You put her video link on the bathroom window. Well, not window. Mirror. And you probably put the will bang for Jesus thing on her whiteboard. Don't play stupid Don't with me. Don't you even try to blame me. Uh, I don't blame you, Victoria, but you know Kate had a church group and that she didn't party. So why did you send out that video? Oh, God. I swear we weren't even going to do it. Then we had some wine and got stupid. It's more than stupid. It's mean, hateful. Kate never did anything to you. And that didn't stop you from taking one last video of her on the roof. I deleted that from my phone. Maybe I'm not her friend, but I didn't get off on Kate attempting suicide. I'm not evil, Max. I don't think you are. I you, Victoria. But I don't understand you. That makes both of us, Max. I always feel like I have to overcompensate. For what? I have no clue. I'm only here to become a photographer, not president. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way. And he's famous. On point, Max. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. I don't need I'm not trying to be mean to Victoria because after all, you know, she was she was kind of nice to me. You know, she did apologize for being a dick to me. So I get it, you know. Some popular people don't always, you know. Some popular people, uh... What am I looking for? What am I trying to say? Not all popular people are bad people. That's the choice you make. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choice. That's for sure. Do you think it's like fake we're not supposed to be friends? Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's gonna happen. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Don't be condescent. Yeah, I'm gonna warn her, duh. Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate to the party so he could take her to the dark. What? Nice try, Max. I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not. You have to believe me. For real, bro, I'm you telling the truth. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserve it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him. And stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. Bro, I'm making amends with everybody. Holy shit. The only person that's on my bad side now is Nathan. Legit. There's Chloe. Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria and me. 
Can I talk to you for a second? Max, all right. I'll talk after you shake that boot. Dog. Uh, no. Have you seen Nathan? <laughs> Dog, bro, did not just say shake that boot. I can't even get Victoria or Taylor to twerk. And you want to hang with Nathan? Business. You should talk to his dad then. Bro has got more money than God, and he spends it on the Vortex Club, not the losers over there in the cheap seats. Logan, this is a swimming pool. In other words, you haven't seen me. Ask Victoria. She always knows where he is. Why don't you ever want to see me? You're so cute. We never really talk. Talk Burr. about what? The next Bigfoots game. We could go out to the field. I could show you some moves. Yeah, bruh. Touchdown. Bro, he's trying hard, bro. Logan, don't make me hurt. Damn. That was way more exciting than a dance. Catch you later, Max. He sounds very drunk, so, you know, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt, you know. I'm gonna go see if there's anybody else I can talk to. That son of a bitch is not here. <laughs> Where are you, Nathan? Moment of calm. Moment of calm. Yes, sir. Kate almost dead. Rachel dead. Enter the Vortex Club. Look at these entitled assholes. They don't give a shit about anybody. If that tornado came right now, I would just sit here and watch for a while. Damn, man. But I have to make sure Chloe doesn't go on her own rampage. <sighs> I hate feeling this way. It's dark and angry. Alright, let's go talk to Chloe, because I don't think I can talk to anybody else. The Vortex Club actually hired DJ Doom for the party. I don't know who that is, but... There you are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not Mr. upstairs in the locker. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it, Max. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you, thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, look, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Well, let's see who wins. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this oh my God. is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your <coughs> All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is. Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. I wonder why. They probably, uh, no, never mind. I'm just gonna shut up. Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. She is the... W... Okay. Listen. 
Victoria can be a bitch, but honestly, in this moment right now, W, w Victoria for real. Real everyday hero of Blackwell. And I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. Damn. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Well, yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Real shit. Let's go. Let's go on our Sherlock Holmes type shit. Mixed with the Punisher. Oh Christ. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Glad you took one last shit. look at Rachel. We have to go to the junkyard right now. I didn't get to read the whole text. That's so weird seeing a double moon. How does that even work? If that is a real phenomenon. Stop stomping around, Chloe. Real Wait. shit, bro. Nathan Just could be here. Just to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. Yeah, have that heater out. Can't trust Nathan, bro. He murdered. He murdered Rachel, bro. He probably would have. He probably would have done the same damn thing to Kate if given the chance. Bro, this place looks fucking creepy as shit at night. Rachel. Oh, You're bro, this shit's, this shit's turning into a horror game, bro. Bro, I'm, I'm keeping on looking behind me. I'm not trying to have somebody, like, come up behind me, bro. Max, please hurry. Why are you running? Oh God, Max, look. She's still there. Damn. Don't look, Chloe. Tis unfortunate. Oh. Whoa! Oh no, bro, we just got drugged by Nathan, bro. Fuck. Oh shit, Chloe. I can't rewind. How? What the fuck? Oh! <gasps> no! She's fucking dead, bro. No. Holy shit, no. I'ma kill Nathan, bro. I'ma kill Nathan, bro. I'ma wake up and I'm killing that motherfucker, I swear to God. Yeah, yeah, Nathan. Go ahead and do what you wanna fucking do with me, bro. Cause I can't do nothing. <gasps> what? Mr. Jefferson, bro? What? Holy shit, bro. Nice. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> dude. 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 Holy shit. That episode. Oh my god. That was a great episode. That was a great episode. Bro, that's got my anxiety. That, oh, fuck, that's got my anxiety going, bro. Holy shit. Bro, that gave me adrenaline. Mr. Jefferson, what is he doing, bro? I thought he was chill. And he killed Chloe. All right, so 53% accepted Chloe's request 46% let beat oh let Warren beat up Nathan well y'all 50 the 54% of y'all are bums low-key 67% no one got hurt damn she could have killed Frank 65% believed your warning 60% of you let the blue jay die I didn't even know I could save a blue jay but okay uh 
of you didn't disturb the Jew or the eight or eighty nine percent of you didn't disturb the nest or the bird's nest. Fifty two percent of you got David's file in another way. I didn't where was the code? You motivated Daniel to attend the vortex party. You left a message on Warren Slate. You figured out Nathan's pin code. You helped Alyssa. Okay, that's it, I guess. Hold on. Yeah, is that it? Yep. Let's see what's next time, bro. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dude. Max better not die. That evil fucker, bro. Why? Why? Why is my question? Why did he do this? I'm sorry for the texture glitch, but episode five, we on it, baby. Damn, the loading screen changed. Now there's the big ass tornado. All right, sick. All right, so I'm gonna end this episode here, guys. There will be a double upload today, so I'll be posting a little bit of episode 5 today as well so uh yeah i'll see you all later hope you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like subscribe put up post notifications if you are new and again thank you for watching this episode episode 4 was the best fucking episode so far by far Whew, it was intense bro it was intense but i'll see you all later today with episode 5 part 1 of life is strange peace guys